Good morning. It's day 23. They say every journey begins with a single step, but I believe ours began over two years ago when we decided to attempt a through hike of the Appalachian Trail. Through years of preparation and training, we prepared ourselves for an adventure of a lifetime. This is our journey to Katahdin. Our first successful pack up in the rain. I think we did a pretty good job. Yeah, we definitely packed up faster. <laughs> <laughs> rain, heat, cold, they're all motivators, huh? Yeah. All right, we have about 5.5 miles down into Fontana Dam where we'll resupply, um, hopefully be able to check the weather to see where the thunderstorms are at today. And then either another one mile to the Fontana Dam shelter where we'll just stay for the night and probably ride out the thunderstorms if that's still in the forecast. Um, but yeah, I think that's probably our plan for now. Shorter mile days, we're kind of bummed about that, but we have to resupply because after we need today, food. we'll be out of food. Yeah. We need food to mm. hike more miles next time. Yeah, for <clears> sure. <throat> yeah, we got to resupply for <laughs> the Smokies tomorrow. Smokies. Wait, right. today we're getting to the Smokies. Fontana Dam is the Smokies, by the way, if well, you didn't true. know that. Yeah, it's in the southern <laughs> end of it, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Well, let's get walking so we get warm. It's only 60 degrees, and there's not a whole lot of wind, so it's not terribly freezing. Mm -mm. But standing here, my hands are starting to get a little bit cold, <laughs> which will yeah. change as soon as we start walking. Mm -hmm. okay, well, bye-bye. Bye. See you. Well, we've been hiking in the rain for a bit now, and... It doesn't seem, it doesn't seem like it's going to let up anytime soon. And everything is very slippy, the route especially, so we're being extremely cautious about these uphills and these downhills because both pose fall threats. But um, yeah, I'm not sure how much I'm going to be able to film today, so sorry. We'll do the best that we can, and at least for our memory's sake, which is the whole point of these vlogs, we'll remember this day for sure. Fog is just rolling in. As they would say, frog. The frog it's is frog. froggy out here. Yeah. yeah. You know, as I was sitting here hiking in this beautiful weather, that's probably sounded a little silly to you guys, but we really do mean it. Little Bear and I were just talking about um, the fact that it really is beautiful out here. The rain makes everything seem much more vibrant. The colors are popping. And um, it's just very it's just pretty. It's just another season, I guess, really, that we're hiking in, which is currently right in the very moment. It's rainy. And we're hiking in the clouds. It's just a fog. It just is neat. But, anyways, as I was sitting here hiking and thinking, I was thinking to myself, our number one goal, our goals for this trip, have always been number one, don't die. Right? I mean, that kind of governs all of our decisions as we make choices every single day. And then number two was um, really smiles over miles. And number three is Katahdin. Now, number three can also rank pretty high as well because we want to make it to Katahdin. That is our goal. We want to through hike the Appalachian Trail. And that means going from Springer Mountain to Mount Katahdin in Maine in one here. But as I was sitting here thinking a little bit more deeply, is yeah, of course we want to make it to Katahdin. But what I don't want to do is be so concerned about making it to Katahdin that we forget while we're out here. You know, enjoying every single moment, enjoying all of the beautiful things that there is to see. And remembering that life is a journey. And although sometimes we do, have a goal that becomes a destination. Life in and of itself isn't ever about the destination. It's about the journey and how you live it and how you experience it. Are you 
are you just existing? Or are you fully alive and living every single moment? So after safety, or don't die, goal number one, goal number two is to fully experience this trail and make choices that align with that goal. With Katahdin, of course, still ranking very, very high. Just my thoughts. Wow, look at the clouds. We're finally getting a bit of a break in the rain. Um, and that fun walk singing in the rain sort of ended about an hour into our hike today. It got um, really, really windy. The temperature dropped probably seven, eight degrees at least. I think it was down to like 50. And we started at about 60, so yeah, more like 10 degrees. And um, it was cold. And somehow another little bear's rain jacket wetted through. And so she got very cold. And because we have practiced and learned about hypothermia, we stopped, we switched my rain jacket with hers, so I'm wearing hers. She's now wearing mine, put gloves on her, gave her the umbrella, I'm carrying the trekking pole so she can be as safe as possible. Put hot hands in her gloves. How are you feeling now, little bear? Good. Let me see your face. You're so cute. <laughs> yeah, so <sighs> we're completely soaked and wet. The trail, for the most part, has turned into a stream up until right about now. Right now it's drying out a little bit, but I'm going to have to figure out what to do about this wet clothes, rain jacket situation and look at the weather to see what's on the forecast for the next couple of days. I need to get her dried out and have dry hiking clothes. We always, just as a side note for anybody that's trying to learn or listen to what we've learned, we always, always, always have a pair of dry pants and shirt They're for our sleep clothes. That way, if it had been an emergency and the weather had turned really bad up there, then we could have easily pitched our tent, put on our dry clothes, and jumped into our quilt. But luckily, that's not the case. And it was never a safety issue. It was just very, very uncomfortable. But part of being out here is getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. And Little Bear's a trooper. She's doing great. Definitely one of the toughest people I know. All right, kiddo, we made it down to Fontana Dam. Let's go ahead and cross the road. Let's see where we're going. We took shelter <laughs> in the bathroom. <laughs> Jesus. And we, there's this awesome heater right here. I've been chilling over it for a while. <laughs> yeah, the little dryer. So we have um, changed clothes and put on some more warm clothes. But all of our base layers are completely wet and soaked through. So we've got our stuff sort of just hanging out trying to dry a little bit and I don't have any cell phone reception in here so I I'm not sure what our next step will be right now because we need food mm -hmm. and then we need to check the weather and figure out really um, 
what's the best thing for us. Ready? Oh, but for now, we well, shall eat our lunch. We're warm and we're toasty and we're eating our lunch mm -hmm. in the bathroom. Yeah. Straight up hiker trash. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're heading down to the marina because we dried off as much as we can in the bathroom and um, just warmed up a bit but we have no internet there so i have no idea how to check what the weather will be like tomorrow or even like what our next move should be so i need to gather some data points and down here is food to resupply but also wi-fi so we can look at what the weather is going to look like because if it's going to be raining and it's going to be this cold then I don't think it's necessarily the safest option to continue um, being out in this today. So we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do. We'll make some wise choices. Yeah. But Wi-Fi down at the marina for um, some information. We'll keep y'all posted. So we looked at the weather at the marina and then got a ride over to the village where we went to the restaurant resupplied and decided to stay and hunker down the storm. Hi! Hi dog! I'm so happy to see you! And sailmaster and the general and we're all gonna hide out here from the storm for the next few days. And we have the general joining us. Thanks general, we're so happy to see you here! And you got a smash burger with the knife inside, which is fancy! <laughs> Fried pickles. Oh yeah! So good. All right, we're walking to our room. Look at those clouds. Just beautiful. I think this is the smartest and the wisest choice because virtually everybody is getting out of this weather for the next two days. So as we continue to say, safety first, everything else much, much farther second. nice place for the summer. Yeah. Little lazy river, little pool. So let's recap day 24. 23. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's recap day 23. Yes, let's. Because day 23 <laughs> needs a recap. Yeah, it was a day. Today. It was a day. So we started out at Cable Gap Shelter. Yes. And we are now where? Um, Fontana Dam. Village. Res village resort. Yes. Huh. Why are we here, I wonder? Because this definitely was not <laughs> on our agenda today. Oh. No. Completely unplanned. Yes. Okay, let's rewind a bit. So um, we started out the morning at about 4 a.m. Um, it was raining. No big deal. Yeah. It was about 60, 62 degrees, I think, even when we first woke up. Which was pretty warm. Yep, it was fine. We packed up yeah. in the rain. Um, not pleasant, not fun, but also really not that big a deal. No, it wasn't too, too bad. No. And the first hour, we were sort of just, you know happily walking through the rain having Dawn a good old time <laughs> stomping in the mud <laughs> yeah we were having a <laughs> fine time because we don't really mind hiking in the rain no done it before we'll do it again yeah yeah and it's really not that big a deal um the plan was to hike down into fontana dam and get to the shelter and start the smokies yep and really just you know take the um time to resupply here at the mm. village and stay at the shelter and then really get into the smokies tomorrow but about an hour into our five and a half mile um hike down into fontana dam it got really rainy um the rain went from a, a steady rain to a pouring down a, rain. Yeah, a sideways down pouring rain. And then the wind kicked up, which was terrible. Mm. I hate to assign it that, <laughs> but it was not pleasant. Um, and then it got cold. And so the last time I looked, it was about 50 degrees. So that's a big difference between 62 yeah. to 50. With, I would estimate the wind gusts being 20 miles an hour. Um, easily. I yeah, mean, it was, that's what I would say. Yeah, it's, it was easily, it was easily that. And so um, we knew we kind of had to move with a purpose. 
Which we did. Which we did. For going downhill and it being wet. Well, we had uphill too to start with. Yeah. And everything got super slick. I'm talking about not just the roots and the rocks, of course, you know, that you're expecting, but the trail became... Um, oh, li literally a river. Like, you could see the water coming down. Yeah. I mean, we were walking in it in three, four inches of rain, of of um, accumulated rain on the ground. And um, then super slick mud. Oh, my God goodness i slid so many times today mm -hmm. and that was being very very nose over toes careful right mm -hmm. that was all still fine again not the most yeah. pleasant experience but all still fine and then little bear's rain jacket got completely soaked through wet it out yeah like my arms are wet my torso was wet which is weird because well, your whole rain jacket just wet it out completely. Oh, yeah, but... Which is our first gear failure. Yeah, um, like, that's odd, because I've tested it out many times. Yeah. And even on the Foothills Trail, when it was cold sideways, sideways rain, I tested that out, and it was perfectly fine. Yeah, so I don't have an answer to why that happened. Um, It's not an old jacket. It's not... Yeah, I got it, like, a year ago? No, not even. It was just a couple of months before we did the Foothills Trail, and we've yeah. only used it a few times testing it out. So it's a Columbia rain jacket. Um, I have no answers. I, all I know is it wetted out. Um, very quickly, we kind of jumped into action and realized that that was not a safe situation and had the potential to be um, more than uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And so immediately I took off my rain jacket, which at that point had not wetted out yet, we switched rain jackets, and so she had my Outdoor Research Helium, which eventually wetted out, but it took hours to wet out. Yeah, it didn't really get even wetted out. Like, Not completely. It never, no. it never completely wetted out. So, Like, of course, it was, like, damp because of the moisture in the air, mm -hmm. but, like, on the inside. But it wasn't, yeah. like, dripping wet like my other no, one. No, the Columbia was a total failure, so... Immediately jumped into action. We switched rain jackets. I was warm because I had not wetted out, so I gave her my rain jacket, um, put a hat and a cover over her, mm -hmm. um, took her trekking pole so she could hold the umbrella with two hands because, again, it was super windy and umbrellas don't work really well when it's really windy, but they do if you're able to hold it properly. And then we put gloves on her and the hot, hands. hot hands in there. It's just, like, the hot hands were, like, they were working, but mm -hmm. little to no heat. Yeah. But you were warm within how many minutes, do you think? Eight? Yeah. I'd say eight, five, five to eight minutes that she was she was warm, everything was good to go. So, um, for sure, this was not, I would not categorize this as a dangerous situation. We were very vigilant and paying attention to... Um, what it could have been and caught it very very quickly and very early but had we been unprepared had we not been paying attention it absolutely could have turned into a dangerous hypothermic situation but it didn't but it didn't and we're fine um, with that said you guys please be prepared I feel like the foothills trail and other shakedown hikes that we went on really prepared us mm -hmm. to act quickly and swiftly when a potential dangerous situation presents itself and hypothermia is no joke it can happen quite quickly so um we already had a plan in place if that were going to happen i had no idea that your rain jacket was going to wet out but we were prepared and when it did it was it was no issue yeah that was pretty disappointing though because i i like that rain jacket it was nice yeah. to block the wind mm -hmm. and but... and if it were in the summer it would have been no issue. Yeah, it would, it would actually feel pretty nice to get a little damp. Yeah. But the one mistake that I have made is the shirt that I brought, my base layer shirt that I brought, was too small and, like, the sleeves are, like, this. So I had to cut thumb holes to bring the shirt down. That was her cute little um project for the day. <laughs> <laughs> and... I forgot to take my thumb holes out, so when my hands got wet, it soaked up to my sleeve. Yeah, but which, even even besides that, and I'm not trying to cut you off, but, like, I don't want you... Yeah, that was not... The smartest. The smartest, but that's not what happened. Your rain jacket wetted out. That was a yeah. gear failure. That was not a you failure. That was a gear failure. <laughs> yeah. 
But yeah, I mean, for sure, lesson learned on that. But you didn't fail. The gear did. And yeah. That's just all. That's okay. But we pulled together as a team and we made sure that you were warm and you were safe immediately. So mm. there was no real danger for us today because we were prepared and we knew exactly what to do. Um, the other thing that we would have done if that wouldn't have worked is immediately set up our tent, immediately deployed our sleep system and jumped in it and stayed there until we warmed up. But we were far, far, far from having to take that mm -hmm. type of um, action. So be prepared. Hyperthermia is no joke. Not a joke. <sighs> so um, we made it safely, easily down the rest of the trail. It was only five and a half miles. And so mm -hmm. we had like two more miles until we got down into Fontana Dam Marina where we very quickly found a bathroom with heat, as you guys saw. Yeah. <laughs> Which was very nice. Thank mm -hmm. you to the person who put a heater in there. Yeah, that was really, really nice. So we were straight up for real hiker trash today. That was probably a through hiker who put the heater in there. Maybe so. <laughs> but then we were faced with, well, what do we do now? Because the word on the trail is that the weather was deteriorating quickly and for the next few days. We had no signal the whole way on the trail today or even when we got down into the bathroom. So we had to walk down to the marina and look at the weather. And it turns out that the weather is going to be pretty um, dangerous for mm -hmm. the next two days. So two days after this, maybe even three days. Yeah, the rest of today, all day tomorrow um, and Thursday may be also a bad day, but we're not we're not we're not sure. So. As much as we didn't plan to be at a hotel tonight and tomorrow night, and to be honest, we're both a little bit disappointed because we were on a roll. We were back yeah. in the game and we were, you know, doing bigger miles than we had, you know, previously done consistently. And we're excited to start the Smokies tomorrow. And we're like, dang, but. Real knee slapper. Yeah. <laughs> this is part of the journey. Yes. It will always be safety first. Virtually every single through hiker that's hiking around us is here in this. Staying the three days. Yeah, because it's been, it's dangerous. And um, everybody, including a past AT through hiker that we've become friends with, said that we are 100% doing the right thing. He's doing the same thing. He strongly encouraged us not to get on trail tomorrow or possibly the next day, depending on what the weather looks like. So um, we're being smart. As we've always said, safety first. And so. Yes, we're kind of bummed that we're here. I mean, we're enjoying this bed that we're in right now in the hot yeah. shower. Um, <laughs> and the heater. And the heater uh, because this is nice. But we really, really, really were excited about the roll we were on with all the miles and stuff. So it's okay. It's a tiny little bit of a setback. This is to be expected. Um, and probably going to happen again. Probably going to happen again. Being honest. Yep. But let me just refresh your memory of the two goals. Mm -hmm. The number one goal, don't die. Just, <laughs> just don't die. And the second goal is to make it to Maine and yep. somewhat could audit. So in order not to die, which we won't. We're going to stay here for the yes. next few days and just um, keep our safety in check. Keep ourselves safe. Yeah, it's a pretty big, severe weather system that's supposed to move through in the next couple of days. So we'll see. We'll see how it happens. Hopefully it'll be over um, in the next two days. If not, we'll reassess and reevaluate and we will make the necessary choices to keep ourselves safe because mm -hmm. number one goal, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, real quick, I know we've been talking for 11 minutes. So um, what was your highlight for today? The highlight, um, I was super cold and I am very glad that I got warm again. So that was my highlight. So your highlight is a warmth, a shower maybe? Mm -hmm. the, the less part of the warmth. Yeah. So Let's yeah, see, my, my highlight um, was watching us work together as a team when we knew time was of the essence, when mm -hmm. you were cold and wet. And we just took care of business. No worries. Yeah. We moved with a purpose and we got stuff done. Certainly did. Everybody's safe. And so that was my highlight. What is your character builder for today? Character builder? Mm. I was starting to panic a little bit, if I'm being completely honest. And once I realized that I just need to chill out, get warm, 
and kind of just like focus on my breathing and try to calm down and reassess what was really happening and it wasn't all that bad then I was all better and that was my character level. yeah did during that time that I say anything to you to help you yes of kind course. of realize that okay yes. good good of course I can't remember what exactly you said but I do remember you me hearing your voice and slowly starting to calm down yeah I just said it's gonna be okay you're, yeah. you're safe you're not in danger and it's gonna be fun yeah right yep so great yep my character builder today was um honestly I think having to overcome the sort of frustration or the disappointment of man we're in a hotel again this is not where I want to be and this is not the progress that I want to make but then talking to um, one of the past AT through hikers who's Definitely. doing it again for the second time just reassured me he's like you're doing exactly what you need to do this is exactly how this this works you are still making great time you have plenty of time you guys are fast so he was just very encouraging mm -hmm. and um, yeah and the fact that everybody else is here also shows me that we've made the right decision too because there's nobody going back on trail tomorrow or the next day so at least out of the probably 25 to 30 people mm -hmm. that we have come in contact with in the last few hours being here so thank you for watching thank you guys for always supporting us and lifting us up we appreciate you so much ellie here you guys go you're welcome <laughs> i had to i had to take her out of my pack before we started recording i was like you know, too much people are waiting for her. I'm just going to get her out of my back. <laughs> and I had to get out of this bed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ellie Cameo. Ellie. Love and light to you guys. And we will see you tomorrow. <laughs> Not sure what, what we'll show you tomorrow, what we're going to be doing tomorrow. We but... will be getting breakfast. And we do recommend the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Can't remember what it's called. I don't know. But we're going to stay safe out of the rain. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. Love you. Love you. Bye. <laughs>